in last video we have seen what is series resonance circuit in this video i will explain here what is parallel resonance phenomena parallel resonance circuit then after that we are going to see about sharpness of resonance sharpness of resonance and in last what is choke coil first i will explain here parallel resonance circuit parallel resonance circuit parallel resonance circuit this parallel resonance circuit it consists of it consists of only two components one is inductor this is inductor of self inductance l and second is capacitor of capacity c connected in parallel connected in parallel only two components one inductor and second capacitor connected in parallel across this parallel combination of inductor and capacitor so of alternating emf is connected alternating emf is applied across the parallel combination of inductor and capacitor this is parallel resonance circuit what is parallel resonance phenomenon in this circuit you will observe that at certain value of frequency of applied emf at certain value of frequency of applied emf in this circuit impedance becomes infinite or we get current zero at particular frequency the current in the circuit becomes minimum while impedance becomes maximum this phenomena in which at certain value of frequency of applied emf the current in the circuit becomes minimum or impedance becomes maximum is called parallel resonance phenomena corresponding frequency is called resonance frequency and the circuit is called parallel resonance circuit here also we will find this resonance frequency like series resonance circuit where we have calculated resonance frequency equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root lc here also we will find resonance frequency see how to find this resonance frequency so about that the instantaneous value of emf that we get from the source how much e0 sum 
kainak omega. This is the instantaneous value of EMF that we get from this soul. Current will pass in this circuit due to this alternating EMF. Consider the current passing through this inductor IL and through this capacitor IC. IL is the current through inductor. I see the current through capacitor. Here, total current in circuit, total current in circuit is I. I L plus I C. The total current in the circuit will be the addition of these two current. Because this two components, they are in parallel combination. The total current will split in two branches. The current passing through one branch is IL. Current passing through another branch is IC. Therefore, total current will be the addition of these two. Now, right here, the values of IL and IC. Using this equation. How to write this IL? In inductor, current always lags behind by pi by 2 radian than EMF. While writing the current in inductor, you have to write phase how much? Omega t minus pi by 2. Phase for current will come omega t minus pi by 2. Current is always EMF, EMF upon resistance, here resistance peak XL, XL means inductive reactor, resistance offered by inductor, EMF upon resistance will give you current in inductor only here. See, phase of the current, which phase we have written, omega t minus pi by 2, not omega t only. The reason is that the current in the inductor always lags behind the EMF by pi by 2 radii. Similarly, you can write, similarly, you can write this IC. IC is the current passing through the capacitor. In capacitor current always, current is always ahead than EMF by pi by 2 radian. Means while writing the current in capacitor, you should write phase omega t plus pi by 2, not simply omega t. If we divide EMF, if we divide EMF by the resistance offered by the capacitor, we get current in that capacitor. This will be the current in capacitor. Phase right omega t plus pi by 2. Now sign of omega t minus pi by 2. It is minus cos omega t. And sine of omega t plus pi by 2, it is plus cos omega t. Therefore, you get current I. You get current R E0 upon XL. E0 upon XL minus cos of omega t plus E0 upon XC cos of omega t. Take E0 cos omega t common. E0 cos omega t common. In bracket, you'll get 1 upon xc minus 1 upon xl. 
This is the equation for current in this circuit. Now from above equation, from above equation, we can write here From above equation, we get I equal to zero only when this one upon x minus one upon x L is zero. From this equation, you'll get current zero. We want current zero in such a circuit. The current will be zero only when this bracket is zero. Solving this condition, we get here x equal to xl. Xc, you know, it is 1 upon omega c. This is omega l. From this again, we get omega square. How much? 1 upon lc. Omega comes equal to 1 upon under lc. Omega comes equal to 1 upon under root L0. This omega we can write as a 2 pi fr. Where fr is a resonance frequency. You get expression for resonance frequency. 1 upon 2 pi under root L0. What is resonance frequency? Series resonance मध्ये आपण काढली होती तेच इंडक्टर तेच कॅपॅसिटर असे जर पॅरेलल मध्ये जोडले तर तीच फ्रीक्वेन्सी भेटणार तेवढीच फ्रीक्वेन्सी जी आपण सीरीज रेझोनन्स मध्ये घेतली होती अप्लाइड ईएमएफ ची ती जर इथे अप्लाई केली तर तुम्हाला या सर्किट मध्ये झिरो करंट भेटेल इम्पिडन्स इन्फिनाइट भेटेल यालाच म्हणत असतो आपण Parallel resonance phenomena. This circuit is called parallel resonance circuit. If we plot the graph between current and frequency for parallel resonance circuit, the graph between current and frequency will come like this. This is that frequency where we get minimum current near the C. The corresponding frequency is the resonance frequency. Corresponding frequency is the resonance frequency. This parallel resonance circuit is also called rejector circuit. Why it is called rejector circuit? This circuit observe that at certain value of frequency of applied EMF show zero current. Means this circuit reject that frequency of applied EMF. This circuit resonance frequency la zero current da kote. Manje ek prakar cha open circuit man view karte. Yasa arthar he circuit the resonance frequency reject karata hai. And a rejector circuit man sa. Series resonance circuit is called acceptor circuit. Because in series resonance phenomena, we have seen that at resonance frequency, the current in the circuit is maximum. Current in the circuit is maximum than any other case. That any other case means than any other frequency. That is called acceptor circuit. This is called rejector circuit. This is parallel resonance phenomena. And this is resonance frequency. Now, after this, We will see sharpness of resonance. 
Shaft means of resonance or Q factor. Shaft means of resonance. Shaft means of resonance. Or Q factor. What is meant by sharpness of resonance? Consider series LCS circuit. Take series LCS circuit. See the variation of current and frequency. Variation between current and frequency. For Different values of resistances. For different values of resistances. Suppose we get this type of variation. When resistance taken in the circuit is, suppose, 50 ohm. Now, decrease, decrease this resistance. Take 10 ohm, 20 ohm, any value. What will happen here? The current in the circuit will increase. This is for R equal to 15 ohm, suppose. 10 ohm, 15 ohm, 20 ohm, you can take any value. Again, Decrease the resistance, take now resistance 5 ohm. When we decrease the resistance, of course, current in the circuit increases. The variation of current against frequency will come like this. This is about R equal to 5 ohm. Vig -vig resistance is la series LCS circuit made. Upon current variation plot killer against frequency. Resistance chiva look kaya sudya, panasom, panraom, pasom. Eka certain frequency last yate avails to mala maximum current pay two. That is called resonance frequency. This is the maximum value of current when R is 50 ohm in the circuit. This is the maximum value of current when R is equal to 15 ohm in the circuit. This is the maximum value of current when R is 5 ohm in the circuit. You are getting maximum current at same frequency called resonance frequency. This is also resonance curve. This is also a resonance curve and this one is also resonance curve. Only we have taken different values of resistances here. Now, in all three cases we are getting resonance. The sharpness of the resonance means more selectiveness. The selectivity of selectivity of resonance circuit it depends on the sharpness. The three resonance circuits are taking graph kind of. It is like one circuit more resonance that more selective one. He can decide that he. या कोई पीशेंट वरुल जला मंता Q factor. The selectivity of resonance circuit or sharpness of the resonance circuit is decided with the help of coefficient called Q factor. What is this Q factor? What is this Q factor? 
this q factor see how we calculate this is resonance frequency denote it by alpha r by omega r omega is angular frequency this is resonance frequency these are the maximum values of current at corresponding resonance take such a values of frequency where we get current 1 by root 2 times maximum value of the current of course you get two different values for frequency two different values for angular frequency where the current is 1 by root 2 times its maximum value so we have taken this first resonance this is peak value of current and consider that this is the value of current which is 1 by root 2 times 1 by root 2 times the peak one these are the two frequencies corresponding frequencies they not one by omega 1 and second by omega 2 this value of current is how much 1 by root 2 times peak value of first resonance This is our first resonance curve. Suppose this is second resonance curve. This is third resonance curve. This is peak value of first resonance curve. We have taken such a current which is one by root two times peak value, and also we have find out corresponding frequency omega one omega two. Suppose this difference is delta omega this is also delta omega here this omega 2 minus omega 1 it comes two times delta omega omega 2 minus omega 1 it comes two times delta omega this difference is called band b this difference is for band b this is the band b for this first resonance curve similarly if we find out band b for second resonance curve you will get this band b is smaller than this first resonance curve similarly if we find this band b for third resonance curve again it will comes smaller than second and first this q factor on which we decide the sharpness of resonance it is the ratio of resonance frequency to this band b resonance frequency to this band b this is called q factor from this we can say that when bandwidth is smaller q factor is greater when bandwidth is smaller q factor is greater and when q factor is greater we say that sharpness of that resonance is greater corresponding resonance circuit is more selective when q factor is greater we say that sharpness of the resonance circuit is greater that circuit is more selective in this graph if we find bandwidth for third resonance curve it will come smaller than this two means q factor for third resonance curve will be greater 
means the third resonance curve or third resonance circuit for which we get that curve is more selective. It is more selective. This is called sharpness of resonance, which we decide with the help of this Q factor, which is the ratio of resonance frequency to bandwidth. Bandwidth is what? It is the difference between the values of two frequency on both side of resonance frequency where we get current how much? One by root two times the peak value. That difference between the values of two frequency it is called bandwidth and this ratio is called Q factor. This Q factor is a pure number. It is a dimensionless quantity and unitless quantity. It is a pure number. Now last point from this chapter is on choke coin. What is this choke coin? Suppose we have one AC circuit and we want to decrease the current passing through that circuit. We can decrease this current by increasing the resistance in the circuit. This is one method of decreasing the current. Generally this method is not used to decrease the current in AC circuit. Why? Because if we use resistance to decrease the current in the circuit, then what happens here? Power is dissipated. In resistance, power is consumed. Some amount of electrical energy will get converted into heat energy. Means there is a wastage of electrical energy. There is a loss of electrical energy. To avoid this loss of electrical energy, this choke coil is used. What is this choke coil? It is made up of thick copper wire. Wounded on, wounded on some iron core, of course laminated. It is a made up of thick copper uh, copper wire wounded on laminated iron core. The chuck coil has inductor. It has resistance also and inductance means it acts like LR circuit. Beside resistance there is a inductance also. When we use such a coil to decrease the current in AC circuit, we observe that there is a minimum loss of electrical energy. Because coil acts as an inductor, though it has resistance, L is greater here. L is greater than resistance. It is made up of copper. Resistance of copper material is small. The inductance of the coil will be greater here than resistance. And therefore, we find that there is a minimum loss of electric energy. The power in LR circuit, it is given by ERMS into IRMS into cos power. Power in LR circuit. In any circuit, it is P is equal to ERMS into RMS into cross power. General formula. 
This calls for it is R by J. You know J. It is under root R square plus omega square L square. Cos pi is R by J. In L R circuit, J comes under root R square plus omega square L square. For choke coil, the value of R is small. Compared to this R, this omega L inductive reactance is very, very greater. Inductive reactance is very, very greater. Therefore, the value of this cos phi comes nearly zero. Not exactly zero, nearly zero. Therefore, the power consumed in choke, choke coil will come nearly zero. There is a less loss of electric energy. And therefore, choke coil is used to decrease the current passing in the circuit, not resistor. This is all about choke coil. And this is sharpness of resonance phenomena. And we already studied parallel resonance circuit. Here is the end of theory part of this chapter AC circuit.